Hi, welcome to Seven Doors. Behind this door, Seven Challenges are waiting for you. At we are. All right. Well, it looks like we got some extra shit here. I'm gonna keep this fucking trophy. Fucking earn this bitch. I'm gonna sit next to the door. All right. Spell of the Seven Skulls. I have found in the mist the lost treasure of ancient lore. First, I took the amethyst, which I placed in front of the door. Like the clock turning around, the next gem, or the next guest to come into the chamber. I get, they gave me the feel of soft stone, warm like a candle flame of amber. Alright, so an amethyst goes in front of the door. Amethyst is purple, I do believe. Uh... In front of which door, mind you? Um... I guess this one? Maybe, because like if I'm reading it there, then I gotta... Alright. Uh, Amber was the next one. I can't open that chest, but there's a blue skull behind it. Amber skull. I think that's it up there, maybe. Come on. I mean, that looks amberish to me. Okay, so if it's like a clock, that would put it in this bowl. Uh, the moment has arrived in this dark magic routine. A cyan jewel of the ocean's light, the glimmer and glow of aquamarine. Okay. Uh, cyan. I saw that one. Not oh, here, no. I mean, that's aquamarine. Right? This one was a present from the sun. A strong beam had blinded us. A gift of the gods, a golden swan. Cleared last name Topaz. Well, that's got to be this one. Not one of those. Now, don't... Who the fuck said to throw it? Good lord. Okay. Oh, whoops. Nature will not venture there into that magic pentagram with a hint of green enclosed in the heart of the emerald. I mean, we definitely saw that one. I mean, we only got one more, but I feel like I should read it anyway. Uh, from the mystical lands of Namir, the regent of the hidden seals, the glory of the sapphire intensified the potent spells. And the last was intense flame, but now the dark circle was complete. It had no place in the pentagram, but it could speak to some spirits. Alright, where did I see that last, the like, really blue skull? Like, it was over here, yeah, behind the big chest. Well, hopefully this is the right way, because I mean... It just told me in front of the door, and I figured, you know, why not? Okay. Uh. Okay, unless we're missing another one. That would make sense. There's like, uh. I mean, what? 
color would we be missing? What did the last thing say? And the last was intense flame. So that one's got to be like a, a red one, right? It's behind the couch. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, and then this one goes. Like that. I mean, uh, oh, you know what? It said that it had no place in the pentagram, right? So where's another bowl? Also, that's something about speaking to spirits, but I don't fuck that, man. What's over? Oh, here we go. Here's a bowl. Oh, and a Ouija board. That makes sense. Eh. Hey oh. trophy. Achievement. The witch's haunt. Timeless square. Okay, well, once again, let's just go and dump this at the end. So that we have it when we go to leave and I don't forget it. Alright, what do we got? We got, well, let's see, does this mean that, like, yeah, it does. Alright, so I gotta find what the, what the statues need. Oh, let's see, we've got a newspaper. Looks like this guy. Beach ball. Now that guy's playing an instrument. That guy's proposing. Uh, I don't know what the hell this guy's doing. Oh, he looks like he needs a ball. 20% off pure madness. Don't know what this guy needs, but... Just keep looking for stuff that stands out. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, not that. It's just the other. Okay, it's just the nozzle. Oh, I want to put it on like French fries. You're gonna need. Oh, but I can't give them the ketchup. I need like a violin by the looks of the one guy, and you'd think that that would be a rather large thing to not see. Fiddler on the roof? Does that mean no. that the fiddle is on the roof? Alright, well, we're there. Go that guy way over there. I like this puzzle. This is a good one. There you go. You have that. Um, salt shaker, I guess. This should be the guy at the table then. I still don't know what this guy over here is. Like, yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Okay, well, we got a cane. Oh, that, no, that other guy, where is he? This guy. That's what he needs, is the cane. That makes sense. Yeah, it does. Okay, uh... 
things there, like the hide stuff. What about, aha! Gauge my ring. There we go. Um. Oh, well, this guy needs a gun. Trophy. No, nothing there. Okay, well, I mean, this was the gun store. Oh. The gun not actually part of the mega sale. It is a good looking gun, though. I'll give him that. I also like how there's a guy. Well, I don't know. I guess he might not be being mugged. I mean, this well, statue could be a cop. I mean, they don't really have any thing to them, right? All right, what all do we got left now? That guy, that guy, that guy is cute. Okay, so all we have left is this guy. And I have maybe an umbrella. Like, he's holding an umbrella there and, like, holding his hand out underneath it for rain. Um, where is an umbrella, though? I'm going to assume that there's another seven rooms to go through, and I'll just cut the doors in half so, you know, before we fall through the floor and whatnot. Alright. Oh, a lot of fucking gold on the floor. Oh, we're in, like, fucking pirate cabin. Captain's cabin. Dear Cabin Boy, last night was the annual meeting of the Brothers of the Coast, Blackbeard, Barbosa, and Bonnie, and myself, Jack Gold. We spent the evening chatting and drinking, telling stories, and showing each other many objects of our past adventures, which we always carry in our chests. When the day came, and we were very drunk, we decided to rest and sleep until the moon rises. I charge you to keep all the belongings of each pirate in his chest. It will be easy for you to attribute each object if you... Consult the pirate's logbook. I can't help you. I'm a bit dizzy. And don't touch the rum. Alright. So we need... Logbooks. What's this? Interact. Oh. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh wow. Fucking wasted. That's right. I drank your rum. Uh, this looks important. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, I don't know where it goes. I'll need to find the logbook, but at the very least, I can put it down here in the middle. And I'm assuming this is another thing. What about this? No, that's just a goblet. Comb. No? Alright. Pirate's logbook. Though. 
I am frozen in place right now. There we go. Because of this thing, the firework. That in the middle. There we go. Barbosa, despite his poor, shabby appearance, he is said to have been the most feared pirate of his time. In the battle against Her Majesty the Queen's ship, a cannonball tore off his leg. And a moment later, he raised his mace and shouted, Go for them! They are few and cowardly. The day ended in victory for the pirates, and Barbosa still retains the marshal's hat that he took from the ship's commander himself. In fact, he retains the head as well. Okay, so Anne Bonny. Legend has it that she is always dressed as a man. She does this by combing her hair in front of the mirror and curling it around her skull. Her origins is not certain, but the color of her skin suggests that she is not European. She is possessed of an oriental gadget that reveals to her where the north is. Okay. Uh, people say you'll probably recognize Jack Gold as the most elegant pirate in the Caribbean. His obsession with blue velvet is matched only by his taste for drink. His refined manners and perfect daily shave make him appear to be a proper of noble origin a person of noble origin whom fate condemned to the helm of a buccaneer ship an excellent gourmet and lover of per parisian perfumes he will never be seen with a firearm in combat preferring the nobility of bladed weapons okay uh blackbeard he has acquired a reputation as a tough guy he is a good strategist and a superb master of special effects with a gadget he is able to detect ships at a great distance and he prepares his appearance with great theatrics by filling his thick dark beard with smoke burning fuses launching sizzling fireworks with this appearance and his colorful attire the poor boarded ship see the image of the devil himself the tips of his forefingers are burned by gunpowder and flint he drinks rum in a viking horn okay so blackbeard has the firework and horn but which chest is his Oh, that's got to be Barbosa's. This one's got to be Anne Bonnie's. Oops, because it's got the comb next to it. And then this one had the notes, so that's got to be Jack Gold's, which means that one's got to be Blackbeard's. Right, because you can see ships coming from far away. That's the glass there. So those two are his. This one goes to Jack. Can we get that mirror in there a bit better? There we go. Oh, hello. I mean, there's got to be like an achievement for drinking all the rum, right? We have a compass, which is also and Bonnie's, and a gun, but I don't remember seeing the pistol. A giant pair of scissors for some reason. Oh, well, it said that he had the hat and the skull, or and the head, so I'm assuming that's his. And I saw the hat somewhere too, I'm sure. Yeah next to it. Okay. Uh, fuck. Oh, perfume. That's, uh, Jack's. Mace. 
I mean, this I wouldn't consider a mace, though. Dressed as a man, combing her hair, something around her skull. Not of European. Compass. Now, it says curling it around her skull. But then it also says that Barbosa still has the head of the guy, which definitely makes more sense. Oh, wait. Can I pick that up back in? That's definitely a mace for Barbosa. I mean, we still have the gun, but... The only time that I can remember a gun being mentioned is when it said that Jack didn't use one. So, like... So, like, I feel like the only things we have left are the gun. Okay, so Anne has two. Jack has two. Blackbeard has two. Barbosa has three, though. And we still have two more things. Elegant Pirate, Perfect Daily Shave, Parisian Perfumes, you will never be seen with a firearm in combat. Daily Shave, though. Oh. She was saved from the gallows by confessing that she was a woman and pregnant. Could this be supposed to be like a a rattle for like a baby? Right? I mean like it's a stick with bells on it that would kind of track. So let's throw that in there. Um I mean, I gotta think a shaved, like a, um, a straight razor, right, for Jack, which would give him three, and since he'd never be seen with a gun, the gun's gotta belong to Blackbeard. Oh, good lord. Okay, so I need a straight razor from what I can tell. Achievement. Touch the rum. Too bad. All the bottles of rum. Okay, I need to wait for this to fade a little bit. Okay. Oh, wow, there it is. That's fucking huge. How the hell did I miss this before? Maybe I needed the blurry vision to see it. Hey oh. I mean, there's a lot in this room. Like, holy hell. Uh, where is my exit? There it is. All right. Another achievement. Congratulations. You have dared to enter the secret passage, and once again you have passed all the doors. The end of the game awaits you. Please put the trophy you won on the pedestal. Okay. 
Well, I'm glad I brought it now. A cautious man's work too is it. Give a thing and take a thing to wear the devil's gold ring. What? Sure. I guess a lot of secret societies do have, like, signet rings and whatnot to signal that this is part of them. Alright, and that was seven doors. Um... Honestly, it wasn't all that good. I mean, it's a puzzle game. You walk with a limp or you sprint, but the sprint wasn't very good. And good lord, that's out. Like, good Christ. I turned the music down. There we go. All right. Um, but yeah, it, uh, honestly, it wasn't all that good. It was fine for how much I paid for it, because I only paid like $3 for it. But, I mean, I would not pay more than $5 for this game for sure. I would be very annoyed if I did. Uh, I don't think I even got all the achievements. I mean, what all uh, reveal details? Really like this turkey. Okay, so that's got to have something. So I got to do something with the turkey in like the second room there. Did you forget your trophy on the way? Well, don't worry, we'll find something. So that means, I guess, if I don't bring the trophy, that there's something else for me to put on the pedestal. Um, but yeah, the whole, like, dodging traps thing was kind of shit. Just because, like, the time... Like, they didn't have the timing set properly. Like, they just had each object have a timing, but they didn't have the timing set to each other so they could get out of sync which is odd and not good for a game about do where, where you have to dodge shit they had the random gun in the first one like what the hell was the point to that that wasn't even really a puzzle it was a get a gun and shoot the skull i mean i guess it's a puzzle but it like they also had two clips for some reason but no ammo counter, so I don't even know if you could have ran out of bullets. But I did like the Blackbeard, like the pirate one. Like, some of the puzzles were good. I'll give them that. Some of the puzzles were good. What was the first one? The first one was Shoot the Skull. That was kind of a shit puzzle. Uh, the second one, I want to say, was the Riddles, I think. And that one was all right. I mean, it wasn't horrible. Uh, my only real complaint about it was the coal riddle because it was very hard to see coal written on that thing. And, you know, considering that we're in 2024, but I don't know when this game came out. Either way, I don't think that it came out that long ago that people still, that buying coal was still a common thing. I mean, countries buy coal. An individual person does not and would not think of coal when you're buying something black. Uh, what was the third one? The third one, I think, was like all the weird statues that you had to navigate through. That one was fine. Uh, I kind of wish... And maybe they did have a note... Um, saying what to do but it would have been nice to have a note if there wasn't one uh and then what was after that the uh i think that was the paintings that one was all right i mean you had a bunch of paintings you had to count you had and then you had like the riddles and you had to count how many of each thing was in all the paintings i mean that was fine uh obviously very easy to miss something but you know that's kind of the point of those ones uh if anything, I just kind of wish that it would have oh, oh. I was going to say, like, some... Then we're like, you enter in each number individually, and it tells you if you're right. But if you do that, it would make it insanely easy to brute force it. So, maybe not. Uh, and then after that, I think, was the... Uh, Uh, was dodging all the traps. Hi, welcome and, to uh, the like I said, that one wasn't good. The timings were off of them and everything, so 
or the time like the timing would come off of them and that it wasn't great and then uh after that was i think the egyptian one that one was fine. I mean, it was kind of annoying to translate it because I was playing a video or like because I was in a video. But I mean, it was still fine. Like that was a good puzzle, some translation and whatnot. Um, and then we had the chess puzzle, which I did not like. Uh, I will admit that I did not care for the chess puzzle because it uh. It didn't make sense like you didn't know which way the things were coming from and that so like yeah it just I didn't care for that one uh, but I'm I, I kind of assume that the end of this changes if you don't have it so hang on let me uh all right so here we are at the end, but we didn't have the trophy. Into the secret passage, and once again you have passed all the doors. The end of the game awaits you. Please put the trophy you won on the pedestal. Which I don't have, but I do have a rock. Okay. Now is it still going to act like success, or...? All right, yeah, it just, all right, well, weird that it didn't have anything. I mean, I made it as well, right? I mean, I just need to go in, shoot the skull, and then make it and do, and like, throw the turkey in one of the bowls or something. All right, so now the trophy just says something about doing something with the turkey, right? So let's just grab it and throw it in a... I mean, there's only so much I can do, right? That? No? What if I put it in this bowl? It doesn't seem to want to accept it, like, even in the slightest. Oh, there we go. Hey oh, Thanksgiving Day. Wow, you really like this turkey. Maybe it's for putting it in all four bowls or something. But hey oh, there we go. All achievements done. All right. Well, that was all right. I've played better. I've also played worse. I mean, I didn't have to look up anything, so I mean, it very well could have been worse. But that'll be it for this week. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And I will see you next week for a different puzzle game.